Native Indians had been living in peace in the New World for hundreds of years. They lived off the earth and respected the plentiful bounty their motherland had provided. Meanwhile, rumors had traveled around the globe and many people from other lands had heard of this new world. They came by ship to take advantage of what the new land had to offer. They began to freeze and, and they got terribly ill and some even died. The native Indians came to help them survive and taught them how to live from the earth. Through it all, they grew to respect and appreciate each other. Through time and triumphs, many friendships were won. America was named and our people came together. One hundred and five years passed, and the spell has finally been lifted. Christopher was awoken by three darling fairies. They told him that he must quickly go to the princess at the top of the castle. When they spoke of the lovely lady he remembered from the forest, he quickly did as he was instructed. He cut his way through thousands of rose bushes. It seemed as he was endlessly cutting through the vines. He finally reached the top of the castle to find the sleeping princess so as beautiful as the day he laid his eyes upon her. He knelt down and gave her a soft She fluttered her eyes and hugged him. They were finally reunited. After a kingdom celebration, they set out for an adventure together under the sunset. After they traveled many days, Christopher saw a beautiful sight and pointed out into the distance. He, Briar Rose, and Diego had finally reached the new world. The same people who had once shared a bitter rivalry were now helping one each other in kindness, working through the differences and making peace. They joined in the song and food while giving thanks for their newfound friendship. Most of it all was a day that will never be forgotten. Oh.